Hey guys, Shock here from Shock E-Tech, and in today's video, we have a massive new update for One UI 8.5. We actually have beta number two for the Samsung Galaxy S25 series. So let's go to the settings and see what's going on. So I'm going to go all the way down. I'm going to go to software update. You can see the little yellow dot. So I'm going to tap on that one. That means something is happening. I'm going to tap on check for updates. And then looks like we have an update right over here. So I'm going to tap on resume update so that installs, but you can see it is One UI 8.5. It is version ZYLH. Now we do have a lot of bugs that have been fixed. We're going to look at all that stuff in a minute, but at the bottom right here, you can see Android 16, One UI 8.5, ZYLH, and it is in fact over one gigabytes. And of course it includes the December 1st security patch. It is downloading a little bit slow, as you can see. That means there's probably a lot of demand and a lot of people are actually doing it. So we're going to wait for this to happen. Then we're going to restart the phone and dive right in. Now, before I do the update, I just want to let you know, when you go to the camera and you tap on more, and that's on One UI 8.5 beta number one, when you tap on more, we have a couple missing features here that people were complaining about. So with the new beta 2 update, those features are gonna be back. I'm gonna show you exactly what they are. All right, so the update is done. I just gotta let you guys know, I really love this new screen on the One UI 8.5 with this graphic on the top, but we are ready to restart. You can also schedule a restart, but I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna be right back with the update. Now, real quick, guys, before I move on, Samsung is running some crazy deals, last-minute deals. So I'm going to drop a few links down below. You can check them out. But as an example, if I scroll down, you can see a Frame Pro TV could be up to $1,650 off. Or a Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra can be up to $940 off. So I'll drop the links to access these last-minute deals down below all right so we are back with the update we do get the notice telling us this is a beta software i'm going to tap on okay and at the bottom it says your phone has been updated so let's see what's going on here all right so let's see exactly what's going on first with the camera so i'm going to launch the camera okay and then i'm going to tap on more and i want you guys to see that we now have the dual record mode which is right over here and the single take back in the camera menu okay so that actually is due to the One UI 8.5 update. But I do want to let you know, if you don't see both of these guys, you do want to make sure, let me just go back over here, go to my settings, all right, and scroll down and go to camera assistant. And you want to make sure that in the camera assistant, you have these two options at the bottom enabled, the single take and the dual rec modes. That requires, obviously, that you have the latest camera assistant version, which is gonna be this one right here. You can see it is 4.5.00.13, which you are able to update from the Samsung Galaxy Store, and it should be available for One UI 8.5 devices, okay? So those two options are back if you, are, if you wanna use them. All right, so going back into the settings right over here, and again, going to the camera assistant, Again, these are going to be available on One UI 8.5 only for now. So let's look at this one. This is brand new. That's the focus peaking in pro modes. So you can change the focus peaking color from green to red to yellow, whatever. You can even change the thickness of the line. But if you do go back out over here into the camera, and if you go into one of the professional modes, let's just say pro video, you are able to tap over here at this button. You can see right now, I am in MF, manual focus. So as I change the focus, as the phone focuses on something, which you're not gonna see right now because it is sitting on, flat on the table, but if you had something behind the camera, as you focus on that thing, when the camera is on focus on a subject, you're gonna see that green color or the red color or the yellow color that you choose, that allows you to make sure you have the focus exactly where you want it when you are in the manual focus mode. So that's one of the changes. Uh, another change here is if I go back to the settings and if I go over into camera assistant, you can see we have this new option. You have, again, this is for the pro video mode. So you can do 
out of focus and out of exposure while recording or out of focus only while recording. So if I do have both of these enabled and if I go back into my uh, pro video mode, so now when we go back to more and go back into pro video, look at this. When I press and hold, I'm going to get AF and AE combined and I can also separate them. So I can have out of focus locked to one spot and I can change the exposure based on another spot and I can put that anywhere that I want on the screen. This is incredible if you are into detailed professional videography with your Samsung Galaxy phone. Even if not, you can try this out. You're going to love it. Okay. That is quite amazing. I can put it back together as you can see or separate them. Okay. So you can play with various options based on your needs based on that latest camera assistant update for One UI 8.5. All right, so that's that. So the phone itself, by the way, is super smooth. I'll let you know, even with One UI 8.5 beta number one, I've been having a great time. Barely any crashes, everything just works fine. But let's go back over to the settings, okay? And go to software update. And I'm gonna tap right over here, go to the last update. And let's take a look at the actual change log so it says modify to enable dual recording and single take. We did already talked about that. So let's move on. Improve the issue of initializing quick panel settings when booting intermittently. So that was an issue that's been fixed as well. Uh, improvements of errors such as quick panel menu screen, icon spacing and location. So again, that made improvements, remember, this is going to be one of the highlights of the new One UI 8.5, the brand new control center. So they're constantly fixing any bugs, so it doesn't look that bad. Let me just tap on edit, see what's going on here. Okay, you know what? It does feel slightly smoother. So let me just make something a little bit smaller here. All right, everything feels a little bit more snappy in the actual control center, which is fantastic. Let's tap on done. So we have some bug fixes over here as well. Let's go back over here. We have some improvements to the actual photo organization in the gallery application. Improve the stuttering issue when pressing the more view menu during a call. So if you were making a call and you were tapping on the more button, there was stuttering that has now been fixed. Now it's gonna be a smoother animation. It says there was an issue with the volume up button that does not work in certain conditions. So when you pressed over here, it simply did not work, but well now it is working everywhere. So that's that's fine. Issues with the Bluetooth connection with the car, that's been fixed. I did not feel any problems while I was using Android Auto. And then we have improvements and stabilizations uh, to the software for multiple app updates, okay? But that's it, guys. I mean, we have those new camera features that are back in business, plus some extra features under the camera assistant. But overall, super smooth, as you can see, and honestly, completely usable. Now, if you do want to see the exact new features of One UI 8.5 versus 8.0, there's going to be a link down below. You can check that video as well. Guys, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below.